See guys like that who, if you give him space, he take advantage of it. And uh, we saw it last year when we did, um, when he did have a big run. And I think one the biggest run he had got called back because of holding. But if you don't limit that space and you give him that space, um, like I said, if we not in our gap, or we what we call it pickable, we doing here and looking in the backfield. You know, he's one of them backs that can find that type of space. And you know, he's not just one of them backs where he could get five or ten yards in them um in them type of in that space and if we give it to him, you know, he's a home run runner. So like I said, we have to do good this week and stopping number twenty eight. So I was just gonna say, so limiting him having home run plays and peekaboo, is that what you say? Kinda of, that's the goal. Yeah, I mean like the goal is to do our job, you know, um knock the line of scrimmage back and hopefully get a lot of tackle talk, talk for laws this week. Cause like I said, if we allow him to get the get into the creases that we are if we playing pickable on up front and um, giving him so much space, you know, letting them guards get to our linebackers, it's gonna be a um, long day for us. What do you like about those I mean, I guess uh, you call it a heavyweight matchup. I guess I, don't, I mean I, I look at him like a any other um, offensive lineman. You know, we have to come ready to play each and every Sunday. Um, I know they, they um, and everyone around the league, they like him. They live up, they hype him up to be that guy. And, you know, apparently that, you know, I feel very confident in myself no matter what, who I'm facing. But like I said, they, everyone live up and hype him that, you know, he is the best guard in the league. Much respect to him. But, you know, he still have to line up and play football when it come down to it, um, which what I'm going to do Sunday. So I'm not looking forward to, you know, these one-on-one battles. It's, you know, Tennessee Titans versus the Colts and Tennessee Titans defense versus their offense, which has ran around 28. But you play with the edge yourself, and you want to show that you're the best in the league. Do you look at that as like an opportunity to do something? Um, like I said, I, it's, it's not one of them games where, you, you know, I, I, I kind of could, you know, got a them personal wages, you know, when it's time for battle. You know, I, you know, I, I, I live up to uh, my standards very high for myself, you know, no matter who I'm playing against. And, you know, of course, our eyes could be on him, but, you know, of course, they're going to, you know, have the matchup like Jefferson versus Quinn Nelson. And, you know, I don't look at it like that. Whoever I'm lined up over, I want to, you know, make them feel me. I want to, no matter if it's Quinn Nelson or it's the other guard. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to just to uh, get another win, honestly. We're complaining except for our win and loss percentage as a team that year wasn't very good. So uh, that, that might be another reason why it doesn't stick out too too far. <laughs> what uh, What's the opportunity like here for you? Do you feel like this is a, this is a good spot and a chance to get going again? Yeah, just the opportunity to be back in the building, playing football, doing uh, what I love to be doing. Like a week ago, I was working out and fishing out in Colorado with my wife and family. And uh, But every time the games come around on the weekend, you always feel that something is missing. So you just got to stay ready, and I'm glad for the opportunity. How unnerving is that to, to know the season's going on and, and you're fishing and doing those sorts of things? Yeah, I mean, I was fishing to take my mind off it. So that's uh, <laughs> that that speaks for itself. And I guess from a conditioning level, just kind of being respected and be able to play, do you feel like you're in good shape and, and ready to roll? Yeah, I've been preparing just to... Uh, get my shot, stay ready for whenever somebody needs me to help out a team. So I feel like I'm in good shape uh, coming in. And, and I'm sorry that you touched on earlier, but you, you have played so much football here over the last couple of years. What, what's it like uh, maybe waiting for this call and how excited were you when you finally got it? Yeah, I mean, it's a new scenario for me uh, to be not playing a football game in the fall um, during football season. But uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here and take it one day at a time. What do you like about this team? Yeah, I think good organization, top to bottom, just a winning culture, been winning the last few years. Um, just any opportunity for me to get uh, in somewhere and be able to help a team out, I was going to try to take it and hopefully be able to help here. You know, guys here that have kind of reintroduced themselves and, and kind of given some early steps? Yeah, I think that's one of the things with my goings around the years. I know somebody everywhere. So <laughs> there's a couple of guys, uh, Terrence Mitchell, Kevin Rader, from other teams I've been on in the past um, that, that I've played with and was able to reconnect with, you know, and there's some more. But I know people everywhere. What does that winning culture look like? Uh, just kind of once you get into a locker room here for the first time and get around these guys, you said there's a winning culture here. How can you sense that or feel that when you first get in the building? I mean, you just 
there's a confidence about the building. Everybody carries themselves a certain way. Um, from the coaching staff to the players, the people have been in a successful uh, situation and they know how to carry themselves and they know how to conduct themselves. How big is it for you guys to get up here and get that first one? Um, you know, I think we know it's at stake, you know, getting the division started, you know, off to a rough start, you know, putting some things together, you know, and just worrying about, you know, taking it one game at a time, you know. So I uh, started a week, you know, got in there, watched the film, you know, ready to get out there to practice. You talk about a guy that, that has some ability in the run game. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor and Nahim. Nahim uh, mm -hmm. Both of them. Nahim Nahim Nahim's behind him. I mean, just how big is it for you guys to, to you know, shut him down? But stop, stop the run. Um, you know, but that's, a, you know, a big point uh, emphasis this week, you know. Um, but I think it just starts, you know, the mentality, you know, going out there, you know, having a good practice, you know, uh, having good energy. And I think how we, how we start the week, you know, that just rolls throughout the week, you know, going into the game. How much do you guys, you know, look forward to these divisional battles? Because it's always, it's fun to watch yeah. you guys play the Colts. I imagine it's fun to I'm sorry. you being a physical player. It's, it's, a, it's always a physical game. Yeah, I mean, if you watched like last year and the week, I mean, uh, not the week, but the year before, I know it's always, you know, a good, tough opponent going against the coach. You know, um, sometimes, you know, get a little chippy and stuff. You know, we like that type of, you know, stuff. As far as the division, you know, it's a competitive. You know, we got a lot of good teams in the division. You know, we're just ready to get after. How much emphasis is put on second half performance and just finishing games? I mean, this has been something that has kind of haunted you guys the first couple. Um, yeah, I, I think that's something we've discussed, you know, within ourselves as far as like, you know, uh, ending the game, how we, you know, how we started, you know. Um, these last couple games, we've been getting it started, you know, and then you know working on finishing the game. So, you know, that's a big emphasis as well. What do you remember about last year's game up there? It was on Halloween. Derek got hurt. They did crazy comeback. You got three of the force overtime, and KB got the interception. You guys got out of there. What do you remember about that game? Uh, it was a, a tough one uh, from start to finish, you know, like how we always, you know, play the coach, you know, so we're going to have to do that same thing, you know, going into the game, you know, starting the right way, you know, ending it the right way. But, you know, last year, you know, that, that was a good game as far as, you know, finishing. Sorry about that. Brian, you know, veteran quarterback's tough to pull him. He's kind of seen everything. Yep. How much of a chess game is it going to be going up against him? Um, I mean, uh, as far as, you know, watch the film, you know, throughout the week, you know, see what, you know, how we can, you know, get an advantage on it as far as, you know, what he likes and doesn't like, you know, you know, just uh, make sure we handle those things, you know, just not trying to overplay too much, you know, just play our game and, and play our defense how we play it.